I'm probably not going to know what I'm going to name this video. I just got a chance to watch um, GW's video. And I got to say, it was another uh, great video I've seen. Shout outs to him out there, GW, GW Extreme. And shout outs to uh, Tito the Fresh. Anyway, he was talking about the whole Peter's Envy. And, you know, I've come to the conclusion that the gender war between the Negro man and the Negro woman will rage on until the day I die. Well, after I die. Because it's, it comes down to the point to where that these North American bimbos and the only way that this whole thing's gonna happen and for black women to wake up is when they wake up themselves. Like this whole thing with Kristen Carrisons and her video and shout outs to uh, that guy, um, was it, that guy from, and bear with me brother, um, that guy from the, yeah, anyway, shout outs to you man. I'll get your name right either way. Anyway, he showed up a uh, Crystal Carrison's video and how this guy, how she uh, wind up with a guy that was very popular. That she wind up um, giving head to this guy. Now, here's the irony of the situation. You know, and this is the time when she was in high school and shit back in the day. She was probably 16. I was probably like 17 years old at the time. You know, and she was basically crying and she was probably humiliated, that scar to this day. But it just goes to show you that, um, that no matter what, that these North American bimbos are done, man. They're finished, man. Nothing that they say or do doesn't surprise me. And like class, like class A, Tal said before, they're, they're finished, they're done. And to Brian Salon, who said that uh, he doesn't want to promote interracial dating in his channel, which I can, you know, honestly respect to the degree of, I get what he's saying, I know that certain guys in O'Shea who wants to, uh, you know, battle out with this uh, black community, but this North American black woman, this North American Negro woman, she's done. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to rebuild the rebuild the Negro community. There's just no way. When you take a look at places like Chicago. Um, Places in um, like Detroit, Milwaukee, Baltimore, they're, they're nothing more than concentration death camps. Because this North American bimbo, she aligned herself with feminism years ago. And as long as they support these uh, <coughs> buck dancing, <coughs> buck just make one second <clears throat> as I clear my throat. As she continues to uh, align herself with her pastor, Buck Dancing Bojangling Pastors. Excuse me one second, this is annoying key here. Look at it. Yeah, you want to ignore me while I'm making a video, huh? Yeah, you do. Mm hmm. Look at you. I'm getting you on the camera, huh? She wants to align herself with this buck dancing, bojangling pastor. And to you white men that want to date these women and you want to put these women on a pedestal, go ahead. Even though the Viganator gave a position why he did not want to swirl. And this is why you have books like I Hate Black Women.
So, and this is why that the majority of these North American bimbos, why do you think their net worth is no more than five dollars? You got to ask yourself the logical question. But then again, they raised these boys to be flat out emotional monkeys. Like today, when I went into a, a store today, this this monk, this ape, was complaining about a about a store that charges a dollar for a stamp. And this is the majority of your Negroes out here, and the majority of these monkeys, this ape that you're gonna sit there and go in their store, you're gonna buy a stamp, and you're gonna get and you're gonna complain because he charges you what? A dollar? This is the mindset of this Negro. And I'm not saying that these stores do not exploit you, but that's just what it is. It is what it is. You have a choice of either going to that store or you don't go to that store. It's that simple. But a lot of you dumbass Negroes don't get that shit, that's why. And like I said, if it does not apply, let it fly. And like I said before, you know. I mean, if you guys want to go out there and not promote swirling and stuff, I respect that. That's your channel. You can do what the hell you want. And from what I'm hearing about uh, YouTube and their sent and trying to censor YouTube, that uh, I got to give a shout out to... Uh, Sean James, because he brought that into light. But we're going to see how YouTube goes for the next five years down the road. You know what I mean? Because the way YouTube is going right now, and they have some good-ass content out there, like like GW Extreme, who puts out good content. Hardcore Tito, shout-outs to him. He puts out good content. David Carroll. Ryan Salons, he puts out good content. O'Shea, O'Shea, um, Duke Jackson, shout outs to him. He puts good content out here, you know? And that's what got me into YouTube now. However, I will say this, when I came on YouTube, maybe part of me wanted this little fame or something. Now I'm just, I'm looking at it like, hey, it's just free advertisement. Maybe slash therapy to get my thoughts out. You know what I mean? I'm not doing this with no script or nothing. And maybe my content may not be all the back to you guys. But if you can deconstruct and subtract your emotions with your logic and see what I'm see what I'm coming from, then so be it. Oh, and shout outs to uh, Big Boss Calvin. Keep making your videos, homie. You know, because like I said before, we see the we see the crap that's going on out here. You know, I may not watch all of them, but we get what you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, you know, it's like this: the gender war will continue until the day I die. And you know, back to the Christian Carson. Like I said, I'm probably going all over the place with this video, but anyway. Like I said before, when a when a veganator came on and said his position about it, this veganator didn't do anything to to harm this woman. No. This woman degrade herself. She tried to use these shame tactics on this guy. This guy was just telling you, look, he just doesn't want to swirl. It's that simple. So you try to get his address. You try to uh, threaten this guy. And then you got this Angel Ramirez who's getting the backlash as well. So for all you simp ass monkeys that want to simp for these women and cape for these women, oh guess what? You're gonna find out the hard way. Why? That these women don't give a rat's ass. So with this whole gender war thing, it's already been here before before YouTube even came along. And that's just the way it is, you know. I mean, even your women in the family that's going to disagree with your position, you know. But, and then the most of you black Negroes, most of you Negroes out there, 
that continue to simp and cape and be in denial, that's what's going to happen to you guys. So with that in mind, I don't know what my cat's doing. He's, he's chasing something. But anyway, and like I said, if y'all want to send me comments, fine. But if I see your avatar and I see your little content, you ain't got your content on your own, hey, y'all just is fair game. So with that, just Carl Mitchell signing off.